Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. I am coming to you live today. I am in a photo studio uh, doing a photo shoot and getting ready for this project that I'm working on, creating photos and videos for the website and doing a lot of taping. And once all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed, I'll be able to share with you um, more information about what's coming down the line. But I wanted to say happy Sunday to you, reach out to you, and if you are online with this morning, online with me, why don't you give me a wave, give me a heart, give me a shout out. Uh, <clears throat> I want to share a message with you. I shared it earlier, but I want to repeat it. It's worth repeating. Uh, in talking with someone recently, I could tell that she was very, very discouraged, very unhappy, felt like she was in a dead end situation. And she wasn't clear about whether it was a dead-end job, a, a dead-end relationship, a dead-end ministry. But I knew this, hey, Lisa, hey, Joy, how you guys doing? I thought I would just kind of peek out of the um, hot lights and the music. I just did my photo shoot, and I wanted to give you guys a shout-out because the Wi-Fi is pretty strong here. But I wanted to share a message uh, that I thought about after talking with a young lady the other day. And I realized that <clears throat> she didn't want to fully disclose why she was unhappy. But basically what she was saying was that she felt so discouraged because she felt like she wasn't getting um, her expectations met. She felt like she had come to a dead end. And I said, if we had this conversation a year from now, do you want to still be in that situation? And what would you say to me? And I could tell that she was very heavy in her heart because she realized that what I was telling her was true, that she's got a decision to make. That if you feel like your ladder has been propped up against the wrong wall, if you've been sowing seeds and ground that is not producing seed and a harvest, if you realize you're in a relationship or in an organization or on a job or in some type of a circumstance where you realize this is futile, Year after year, nothing is being produced. No progress, no traction, nothing's happening. Hey, Kathy in Indianapolis, good to see you, my sister. Hey, Pat, hello, how are you? Happy Sunday. Um, what I'm saying is that when you realize that year after year, year after year, you're not seeing any harvest, nothing is happening, no progress, no traction, no results, no seeds coming up. Could it be that now you realize this is futile? Nothing is going to happen. Nothing is being produced. And it's hard sometimes, as I was talking with this young lady, to realize that you put that much time or that much money or that much expectation or that much of your skills and your heart and your loyalty into something to realize that there's not yielding anything. Hello, Denise from Maryland. Good to see you, my sister friend. And so what I've written many times, in fact, there's an article on my, uh, on my website about it saying that sometimes we have to accept the fact that what we're dealing with or who we are with or where we're giving our time, it is futile. And sometimes it's not futile, it's fatal. That if you stay in that situation, if you stay in that abusive relationship, if you stay in that situation, it's fatal. It could kill you kill you spiritually, kill you emotionally, kill your dreams, kill your peace, kill your purpose. And unfortunately, some people actually physically die when they stay in a toxic, abusive relationship. But there's all types of ways we can die when we are somewhere that is killing our spirit and choking the life out of us. So I don't know whether you are in a fatal or a futile situation, and if not, I pray that it is fruitful, that you are bearing fruit, that you realize all the seeds that you're planting, all the hopes, all the dreams, all the time, all the money, all the loyalty, all that you're enduring is worth it because it will bear fruit. And I am so glad that I can be able to um, share with you today this message because after talking with that young lady, she just resurrected that message for me. That sometimes we stay 
in the game too long. We stay in the relationship too long. We stay in that church too long. We stay in that relationship too long. And it's futile. It's not going anywhere. It's a dead end. It's not bearing fruit. And it takes tremendous self-revelation and self-care to recognize, I cannot do this to myself any longer. It doesn't mean you're defeated. It doesn't mean you're weak. It means that you're smart because you're recognizing that you're throwing seed into hard ground that will never produce anything. And if it's not futile, it's fatal. Are you in a situation that is killing your spirit, choking the life out of you? You have no joy, you have no hope, you have no faith. Well, when I was talking with the young lady, I told her that there's four different types of expectations. And the reason we suffer is because our expectations are not met. Our expectations are either unclear, unspoken, unmet, or unrealistic. Yeah. And it's when our expectations are not met that we become discouraged and frustrated and bitter. Yeah, bitter. Because we didn't get what we wanted out of the deal. And you have to ask yourself, were my un expectations unspoken? Were my expectations unclear? Were my expectations unrealistic? And were my expectations unmet? Because that is the root, that is the source of all suffering. And it doesn't mean that you have to blame the other person or blame the organization. It's just that when you become self-aware and you take responsibility for the quality and the peace in your life, the success in your life, you'll recognize whether you are in a futile, fatal, or fruitful relationship. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I see you. I thank you for checking in. Hello, Char. Good to see you online today. And please do me a favor. Share my video messages. Hit the share button and share it with your circle of influence. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, my sister friend, Woman on the Grow. Good to see you today. So again, I'm asking you. I'm learning the power of asking. A-S-K. Ask. S, seek, K, keep on asking. So I'm going to keep on asking you that every time you see one of my video messages or every time you see an announcement of something that I'm doing, I appreciate it when you hit the share button and you share it with your circle of influence. Please remember that I have some events coming up. Sunday, August the 26th, I'm having my free mixer. This is free. We're going to be at the Carson Doubletree Hotel Sunday. We're calling it Sunday Flow for Women on the Grow. Sunday, August 26th, from 3 to 6, it is free. Food is on your own. I will be there giving out hugs and smiles and sharing information with you about things that are coming down the line. We have our Women on the Grow retreat coming up in Malibu. October the 11th and the 12th. I'll be speaking at Friendship Baptist Church in Pasadena in September. I'll be speaking all over the place. So check out my calendar on my Facebook or my website, Jewel Diamond Taylor. I see you, Joy. I see you, Kathy. I think, see you, Char. I see you, Lisa. I love you. I got to go back to work and get back under these hot lights and make it do what it do. You know that black girl magic. Stay in the light.